the drums actually arrived. I'm surprised. I feared something might run amiss, what with the war and all. Hmm, yes, it does seem that they've been repunched correctly. They require some recalculation to account for recent developments, though. What's important now is that the golems are tested against the appropriate enemies of the people. Go fight Armada and collect scrap parts for target dummies. If, uh, when you make it back, come to the testing range. The golems will await you. It would seem that they were able to get the new golems working. Yeah. Something about them reminds me of the clockworks. Let's build the dummies and get out of here. Eradicate! Eradicate! Aye, aye, Captain.
Active, all right. Active and deadly. Captain, those things were trying to kill us. Marcus Fox must have programmed them to come after us. Why, that bilge-ridden backstabber. I'll kill all of him. You're back. You survived? Oh, no. I'm so sorry. They've got my brother, Rupert. He's always been the rebel of the family, looking to stir up trouble. Now he's fallen into the clutches of the anarchist Captain Swing. He and his thugs forced me to reprogram the golems, or they'd kill Rupert. Please, don't turn me in. It would break mother and father's hearts. Please, just go and save Rupert. They've taken him into the sewers. Why, you... You're asking for favors after trying to kill us? Calm down, Ratbeard. You don't know how it is in Albion. The troubles. They can drive people to do crazy things. Captain, let's go save his brother.
Ah, we have a Rupert, all right. I know all about him. He's in Johnny Putrid's club, down the ways a bit. Oh, I'm sure he can't wait to see you. Welcome, Captain. I'm so pleased I didn't miss you. Oh, I'm afraid you won't be rescuing Rupert. I made him up. It's taken me years to rise high enough in the engineering corps until I would be trusted enough to help them with their filthy war machines. My plot was almost complete when you ruined it all. Now I've stolen the oscillating overthruster plans. The Golems will never work without it! Ooh, I see. He's Johnny Putrid and Marcus Fox. Well, aren't you the dastardly one? Yes, you're very clever. Too clever by half. The golems won't work for the blasted dogs, but they certainly work for me. Iron Legion, smash them!
Marcus got we. Maybe, but he left without his oscillating overthrust to plants. I took them from him before his machines attacked us. Clever is as clever does, hmm? Bless my soul, the overthruster plans. We'd never have licked these problems with the Type 39s without them. What? Marcus? Why, I can't believe my ears. We'll never find another programmer as gifted. Well, I'm sure the police will pick him up. We've got what we need now. With the overthrusters and the new programming, the Type 40s will soon work right as rain. Tell Colonel Smeagol we'll be filling orders directly. Now that we have the war golems working, I hope you don't mind if I borrow one. I can put it to good use. Field testing, that's it. You've done it! Great Scotty, you're as much a military asset as you are a naval one! Good show, Captain! Hip hip! Hurrah! While you were away, Admiral Doggett asked after you several times. Go report into him at once. Ah, good, you're back. What kept you? I do believe the tide is turning. You've blunted the assault on the Isle of Fetch, and Nelson has foiled Rook's surprise attack. Nelson caught the Armada fleet completely by surprise and blasted them to kindling. All oh, but the Armada flagship, that is. Rook's ship, the Executioner, is a terror. Four times the size of a galleon, with more than a hundred guns. Nelson attacked the flagship directly, and his HMS Victory lured Rook into the Trafalgar Vortex. Neither of them has come out. I fear the fleet is decimated. You're one of the few ships we have left. Sail to Trafalgar post-haste and reinforce Nelson, or avenge him. <laughs> <laughs> 